Hi guys, Ty Martin here. Let's get it in! What's up, ladies and gentlemen, Ty Martin here. Okay, first of all, let me just say, I know I've been away for a minute. It's been a lot going on, a lot of transition, a lot of movement, and I'm trying to discipline myself to get a new schedule. But anyway, I'm doing something different today. I normally don't record from my phone because I don't like recording from my phone, but I'm doing it for you because I want to practice what I teach, okay? So if we're talking about stepping outside the box, doing something new, I'm gonna do something new too. Y'all gonna take a walk with me and we gonna do this together. We gonna talk about life together, okay? Hey guys, okay. So we are out here and we're taking a walk. We're doing something different because that's what time it is. We're gonna do something different in the season. We're gonna do something different today. We're gonna do something different in life. Holler back if you wanna do something different. If you wanna see a new season, if you wanna see change, if you wanna see a new outcome. Because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting to get different results. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into our tie nugget for today. Okay, y'all. First of all, it's bright out here. It's bright. So you know what that means? Sometimes you're gonna have to make an adjustment. Because if it's too bright for you to see, you put some shades on and you make an adjustment. You don't turn around and go the other way. We ain't doing that. We gonna keep walking in the way that we were supposed to go and we gonna put some shades on and we gonna do whatever we need to do to make the necessary adjustment because that's what life calls for sometimes. Sometimes you gonna have to adjust your mindset. You gonna have to adjust your conversation. You gonna have to adjust your faith. You gonna have to adjust your prayer. You gonna have to adjust your friendships and your relationship. So, adjustments make the adjustments get comfortable with making the adjustments because you're gonna have to do it you're gonna have to do it boo you can't get around it you can't go over it you're gonna have to go through it and you're gonna have to make the adjustments so that you can fit because maybe you were a circle in one season and you trying to go through a triangle door you're gonna have to make the adjustments to get through that triangle door or maybe you a triangle and you trying to get through a square door because that's what this season calls for you gonna have to make the adjustment you know what I'm saying now I ain't saying be square I'm just saying make the adjustment so you can get through the door. You know what I'm saying. What's up, guys? Okay, so check it out. Today's segment is about life, right? And we're talking about being on the road of life, being on a journey of life, okay? So sometimes you gotta stop and you gotta take a seat. You know what I'm saying? You gotta give yourself a break. You gotta take a breather. You gotta meditate. You gotta pray. You gotta relax. You gotta reflect. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do some self-reflection. That's important. So sometimes your posture in life is gonna look like this. Because sometimes we feel like, oh, I gotta do, do, do. I need to be out there doing something. I need to make something happen. No. Sometimes your posture is just like this. You sitting, you chilling, you waiting, you listening for that still, small, quiet voice in your spirit called God to give you direction, to give you strategy, to tell you the next step, to take you to the next level. Sometimes you just gotta be still. And what I had to learn sometimes is that Sometimes the action is the inaction of being still. Action doesn't always require or mean movement. Ooh, ooh, chew on that nugget for a second. Sometimes you just gotta be still and the action in itself is being still and just listening. Taking in the sounds around you. Listen to that dog that's barking in the background. He like, I wanna get a cameo in a video too. Holla back, you know what I'm saying? Listen to the birds chirping. Watching the little red ants that's probably trying to bite your feet if you out here in the grass, I'm just saying. Like just being still, being quiet and listening to that inner voice. Sometimes that's what it's about. And sometimes we overthink it, we overanalyze it, and we, we're so hard on ourselves because we're like, I need to be doing something, I need to be getting results. Sometimes the best results come from you being still, okay? So we gonna get back on that track, but I just wanted to stop and give you a little tie nugget, okay? All right, so what is the moral? Sometimes life is gonna require you to stand still. Sometimes life is gonna require you to walk. Sometimes life is gonna require you to pick up the pace. And sometimes life is gonna require you to run. Okay guys, so on my journey of life, here's what I have learned. You are gonna meet people along the way in your journey. You're gonna see specific signs like the alligator pit. You're gonna hear dogs barking like that right there, but you cannot let stuff distract you. You gotta keep moving forward. And when you get the signs like the alligator habitat sign, you know what I'm saying? That means you just gotta move forward, but you gotta move forward with caution, okay? Cause there's gonna be a lot of signs on this trail of life. Hey girl. 
she's a G. She is always out here running every day. She's an inspiration to me. I told her the other day, I was like, girl, you inspired me. I want you to tell somebody who inspires you today, hey, you know what? You inspire me. We all need that encouragement on the journey of life, okay? So anyway, like I was saying, on this journey of life, don't compare yourself to other people. You have a path and you have a trail to run, but your trail is not gonna look like my trail and my trail is not gonna look like your trail. And I don't want your trail. I don't want anybody else's trail but mine because guess what? My trail was made for me and only me for what God created me to do, okay? So don't wish for anyone else's path. Don't wish for anybody else's trail. Be happy with the trail that you got. It's beautiful. If you just take in the path that you're on, the journey that you're on without comparison, without contrast, and you just walk it and you live it and you embrace it and you run that thing, so rewarding. You're gonna enjoy the journey because it's not about the destination, dude. When you get to the destination, you're like, okay, now what's next? What am I gonna do next? Because I like, I'm, I'm bored. I got here, I reached it. What am I gonna do next? It's always about the journey. So enjoy the journey, okay?